name is Henry Creed, and I've been an administrator at Oakland Academy for, uh, for 18 years. Tonight I'd like to talk to you about body language. Your body language shows your emotions, it shows your interests, and it shows a lot about you in business settings. The first thing I'd like to talk to you about tonight is your posture. When you walk into a room, have your shoulders back, chest out, head up when you walk in. When you do this, it shows confidence. And your confidence is what people see right from the beginning. If you're confident, people take you seriously. Same thing when you're standing with somebody. If you're standing the exact same way in a posture with your shoulders back, chest out, head up, people take you as being confident and they're ready to speak to you. Next thing I'd like to talk to you about is your handshake. When you, ha when you shake someone's hand, try to make it a, a good handshake. Not a, shake, a handshake like a dead fish. A good handshake means that you shake firmly, web to web, and you should shake a maximum of three times. Any more goes against business etiquette. And always keep maintaining eye contact when you're shaking someone's hand. Speaking of eye contact, eye contact is a very important part of the business. Eye contact shows that you're interested, that you're willing to talk to somebody, and that you're expressive to them. Your eye contact, you should maintain eye contact during most business meetings 60 to 80 percent of the time. Your eye contact should usually generally be between the eyes area and around the nose. This maintains the eye contact that we're talking about here today. The next thing I'd like to talk to you about is your facial expression. Your facial expression shows exactly how you're feeling. Your face shows anger, it shows sadness, it shows many different aspects of your emotions. A good rule of thumb for a business meeting is to keep, your, keep a smile generally on your face. This, is, this smile shows that you're warm, that you're willing to accept ideas, and that you're, you're willing to be there in the moment. Uh, your facial expressions show everything about you, so be open with your facial expressions. The next thing I want to talk to you about is your arms. Folded arms show that you're closed off. A folded arm means that you're not willing to accept people, you're not willing to have them approach you. Have your arms open, either in, in an open fashion or behind your back. This gives you an open place for the person to approach you. It shows that you're willing to hear ideas. It shows that you're willing to know what they're trying to say. The next thing I want to talk to you about is your hand position. During business meetings, if you're sitting at a business table, you should always keep your hands visible. Keep them above the table, either on the table or around the table. When you're standing talking to somebody, don't put your hands in your pockets. This shows that you can, that it's, it's against business etiquette. You should have your hands out for expression or hands behind your back. The next thing I'd like to speak to you about is when you come into a business meeting and sit. Sitting is the same thing as I was talking to you about with posture. Sit erect, your head forward, and your feet on the ground. You can either have your feet firmly on the ground or you can have your feet slightly crossed at the ankles. Most experts say that you sh women do not cross their legs in a business setting. Men, are, it is okay for them to cross their legs, but for the most part it is expected for most people to have their feet on the ground or slightly crossed at the ankles. That's the best way to have. In conclusion, body language is a very important part of a business setting. How you read your body language and how someone reads your body language or you're reading someone else's body language is important. It will give you an edge in a business setting. 